Hey, what's going on guys? Craig here from Video Juice. It is Marvel time yet again. Falcon and the Winter Soldier has finally arrived and um, it's time to react to it. <laughs> Episode one of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this show. I, I've been looking forward to it for a while. Uh, more so now because of how good WandaVision was, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, anyone that hasn't watched WandaVision, I'm representing here with the new t-shirt. <laughs> um, anyone who hasn't watched WandaVision, go check it out, it's fucking amazing. Um, anyone that has watched it, I have done reactions on it, go check them out if you have any interest. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited, I think the quality is going to be good. I'm, I, I'm excited for the dynamic between Bucky and Sam, you know, because they they were butting heads in the movie, in the movies that they were in. And I think they'll be, uh, I think they'll be fun together in a show you know we'll kind of have this kind of uh, kind of a buddy cop type type thing but they're button heads the whole time you know i think it could be fun and obviously the the opportunity for some good action is there as well and um, i'm just looking forward to learning more about these characters because it's the same situation that we had with wanda where wanda had re one big prominent role in a movie and that was age of ultron when she was introduced and then she was kind of just she wasn't a main character, you know, she wasn't fully fleshed out. And then they took the time in WandaVision to do that, to flesh out her character and give us backstory and an origin story for her and to explore her powers and stuff. Um, so I assume we're going to get that with this as well. You know, like Sam and Bucky, I love the two of them as characters. We haven't gotten a whole lot of, uh, excuse me, a whole lot of them on the shows. I'm just excited for more. And uh, Baron Zemo as well, I'm excited for that. And um, we have Sharon Carter as well in this. Uh, another character that wasn't fully i won't say utilized but wasn't fully fleshed out or anything i suppose what wasn't pr properly utilized either as well and um, that's that's the most exciting thing for me going into these shows um because of because they have disney plus now you know it's it's they have the perfect avenue for this sort of stuff and a show obviously you can flesh out characters a lot more because you have a lot more runtime you know instead of just an hour and a half to two hour movie or something so um, it's good. It's different as well. It's a mix-up. You know, we had Agents of Shield before, but they kind of Agents of Shield distanced themselves themselves from the AA, from the MCU. So these ones are more heavily involved. So I'm excited. Um, I will be doing a Q and A. This video is probably going to come out a tiny bit later than usual. I've had internet trouble the last while. My internet completely fucked up, so I'm getting that fixed. And then I had an eye infection for a while, so I didn't want to record when my eye was all gammy. It's still a little bit. It's kind of swollen up here. But we're here, we're back now, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode one. If anybody wants to participate in our Q&A for next week, tweet at us or leave a comment down below in the comment section of YouTube. Hashtag it. Fuck, what do we call this? I suppose Winter Soldier QA, just to keep it short. Or is that too long? We'll say Falcon QA, because it's a bit shorter, so it's not taken up. If you're if you're tweeting to us on on Twitter, it won't take up a lot of your uh, your character limit. So Falcon QA, I'll have a thing down here. Uh, tweet at us or leave a comment down below in the comment section of YouTube. Any talking points, opinions, theories, anything you want, um, me, anything you want me to read out in the recap of next episode, even if it's just your comment. If you want me to read it out, put a hashtag Falcon QA uh, alongside it. And we will do that. I'll do this for every episode, uh, the Q&A. Because it's fun doing the live shows. That's the, some of the fun of doing the live shows as well, you know. And I want to get your guys' opinions and stuff. So uh, so that's pretty much it. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode one. Let's do it. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a nice cam title card. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're going to need to call some people. <laughs> Oh shit, busted. <laughs> oh shit! I can't remember what his name was in this. Fucking GSP. I can't remember what his character's name was in this. He was only in, um. Winter Soldier, right? Oh. <laughs> He's effective! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh shit! Oh nice, that was awesome. <laughs> oh a nice autopilot kicked in. Oh, he's gonna be a tougher opponent. Hmm. 
Imagine being hijacked like that. You're strapped to someone's back and you're just floating through the air. That'll be terrifying. <laughs> How did they think they were gonna... Get away from him, like. He's literally got wings. Oh, guns help. Oh. The, the aerial shots with, with Falcon are just so awesome. <laughs> that thing is fucking awesome. <laughs> oh. That'll be terrifying. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot throughout this show. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, oh, fucking hell, man. Oh, oh no way. <laughs> I think this is mine. Oh, nice. GSP got out. That was a pretty awesome way to open <laughs> this show. That was great. They call themselves the Flag Smashers. Was that a new thing? Bad guys give themselves bad names. Some people, they think that he's in the secret base on the moon. Looking down <laughs> over us. Wow. I can issue. And he mastered posing stoically. <laughs> oh, Rhodey! It has been forever changed. I don't know if there's ever been a greater symbol. But it's more about the man who propped it up. Thank you, Captain America. But this belongs to you. He gave it to you. Carry on his legacy. Yeah. Well, you should bring him out to DC sometime. I'll teach him how to fly. <laughs> I mean the right way. <laughs> the history of Cap. Crazy to think that nobody's That's awesome. Be the shield. Hey, we was on ice, so think where we are. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, you gonna make me ask. That's someone else, is Steve. Oh, the shield symbol, the Hydra symbol. World's a crazy place right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hail Hydra. It's either not bulky or it's a flashback. <laughs> yeah. Dream. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna do the notebook thing? Why? It's passive aggressive. <laughs> All right, what was rule number two? Nobody gets hurt, it's a big one. And why isn't it rule number one? <laughs> I didn't hurt anybody. I'm no longer the Winter Soldier. I'm James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my efforts to make amends. It, uh... Didn't help with the nightmares. Well, like I said, I didn't have any. Ignoring the texts from Sam. Look, you've got to nurture friendships. I think he's been texting them. You have called all. You know, I mean, when did that start? When did you start yelling at your clients? Oh, the notebook. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking notebook. I'm trying, okay? Peace. That is utter bullshit. You're a terrible shrink. I was an excellent soldier. So I saw a lot of dead bodies. Hey man, I'm, I'm unique. It's like Monique, but it's got a U in there for uniqueness. That's absurd. Okay, sorry. That man was waiting there, waiting there for, for him to throw something in his trash can. <laughs> he would like to take you out on a date, maybe to bingo or a night of... Very forward wingman. I'm really sorry about him. Could be effective though. Wow. Tomorrow night then? Tomorrow night's great. <laughs> the ultimate wingman. What's wrong with Pinnacle? Yeah. I haven't danced since 1943. Feels like. <laughs> I felt it was strange. In here. 
Uncle Sam. Wait, how old are you? 106. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> drink. Uh, Come on, drink. Don't cry, don't cry. Wow, you really get drink. Oh. He just fucking bailed. How was the date? Yeah. Fuck, man. Like my name is Earl. <laughs> He's going through his list. Ooh, <clears throat> this recruit recruitment. Oh shit! Diversion. <laughs> oh shit! That wasn't smart, you just saw him kick someone against the pole! And why would you get so close? Oh! His back could be fucked. Why would you get that close? He just saw him boot a guy across the street into a pole. And you get next to him with a gun. But where? <laughs> I always wanted to be an adventure. Is there some kind of fun for heroes, or did Stark pay you when he was around? My condolences, by the way. Uh, thank you, but no, it doesn't really work like that. You have no income over the last five years. How can you have income if you don't exist? Sarah. Uh, I know your family has banked with us for generations. But we cannot approve you. <clears throat> I'm truly sorry. We're gonna get that loan. I don't care if I have to go to every bank in the city. Sam, stop. I don't wanna deal with this again. Well, that's what life is, dealing with this. You are so out of pocket for that. Don't I did, but you know, sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Or a uh, broken orbital. <laughs> lucky that's all broken you orbital, ugh. He's strong. We need a real person who embodies America's greatest values. We need someone to inspire us again. Someone who can be a simple full-on weapon of defense. Are they making someone it is with great honor a new cap? We announce here today Who is it? <laughs> who is that? Ah, uh, who the fuck is that? Oh man, so like <laughs> they, they weren't they weren't um, slow about <laughs> getting a new Captain America. I wonder, like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> who the fuck is that? That's not Cap. Uh, I like it. I like this setup. You know. Um, it's it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, I I like I never thought about the fact that he wouldn't want to be Cap. I thought that this was going to be. I mean, it it this is what it is going to be. It's going to be him uh, becoming Cap, you know. But realizing, or maybe even not realizing, but maybe er earning it in his own eyes, you know. Because um, it's interesting that he. Like they were talking, he was constantly talking to his sister about the the legacy of his family and all stuff and all that, and wanting to keep that around. And it's a parallel; it's a nice parallel to what is going on with him and the Captain America mantle because he doesn't want that legacy, you know. Um. Yeah, it's a good setup. It's going to be interesting because having him, having him earn it, and 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 um. Become it. Become the new Captain America is good. It's better than what I had envisioned going into this show, you know? 
Um, and it's, yeah, makes sense. This episode went way differently than I expected. Like, I thought we were going to have... I thought it was... I, I, I don't know. Like, we didn't even have Baron Zemo in this episode. I thought we would have Bucky and Sam <laughs> meet, meeting already. You know, I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not complaining about this it went in a in a different way in a good way you know do you know the way you watch a trailer and you have an idea you form an idea of how it's going to go in your head <laughs> uh, but no this was good this was good the fight at the start the opening fight with sam was incredible you know that's that's what you get with that disney money you know they've got the money to put into these shows like these are movie quality action scenes in a show which is amazing <laughs> you know it's absolutely amazing um, yeah, the whole the whole opening was great. I love, um, I love the whole opening. I loved that he he was using some kind of new maneuver maneuvers when he was up there, um, and some of the shots were incredible. And it was so fast, and his reaction time is so quick, man, so quick. I would have been dead immediately <laughs> had I been doing that. You know, I would have hit a rock immediately and just I would have been soup. <laughs> I would have I would have turned myself to soup almost immediately. And I love his little humor. Well, I love the humor that they've kind of put into the... It's kind of like cool humor, you know? Like when they're in the helicopter and they're talking about him and you hear you hear behind the camera, you hear uh, Sam coming into the helicopter and you hear the wings retracting and then the camera pans to him and he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. I'm so happy we're exploring these characters, you know? Sam... I'm really excited to learn more about Sam because I feel like... We haven't gotten much of Sam at all. Um, he's been there, you know, and they've delved into him a little bit, but we haven't got a whole lot. He's been the side character in all the stuff he's been in. Um, and Bucky as well. You know, Bucky, since I since the first Cap Amer Cap America movie, I've been looking forward to him coming back as Winter Soldier. Um, and now we get a full show of him, you know, dealing with this, uh, dealing with writing the wrongs that he has done and the PTSD he has from all the stuff that he did and the therapy session was amazing as well i'm so looking forward to just delving into these characters you know yeah like halfway through the episode i was like right this is going to be about him wanting it's going to be about him wanting to be cap and now there's someone else's cap so there's it's <laughs> there's a twist on it you know it's really great to see uh, george st pierre as well gsp i can't remember his character's name someone let me know in the comments what his character's name is in this. It begins with a B, but I can't remember what it is. He's He was in, was it two movies he was in? He was definitely in Winter Soldier, right? I can't remember. He was definitely in one, maybe two. It's good. The little red wing uh, <clears throat> drone thing that Sam has is badass. He's definitely upgraded that shit. <laughs> Uh, and the, the the random roadie cameo is class as well. That was really cool. Again, again, like I said this in WandaVision as well, and I'll probably say it in Loki because they'll probably do it there as well, but it's 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 the benefit of having this universe that you have spent the last 11 years building up and setting up and spreading, you know, that I like, like, I like that they don't shine a light on it, you know? Like, in another show, it'd be like, hey, here's Rhodey, and he comes in and says a catchphrase or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whereas this, it's like, oh, here's Rhodey for, for 30 seconds, just because he's just part of this universe. I love it. I love that shit. It's the benefit. This is why they spent all the time doing this, you know? So they have these this wealth of characters that they can call on whenever they want, and it's cool. So it's cool to see him. It's, it's the show he would be in, you know? It's more um, more grounded and more um, military or uh, government kind of based, you know. Um, so it's cool to see him. Cool to see him. So this is set a few months after Endgame as well. They said that it's been a few months. Um, it's cool to get a time frame. Um, yeah, and going back to Bucky, the, the whole thing with the with the therapist <laughs> was great. <laughs> that was really funny. I love that she just didn't take any shit. Didn't take any. She's like, what do you want? Peace. That's bullshit. <laughs> She's great. The two of them, I hope that's a recurring thing throughout the season. He keeps on, obviously, he's going to have to keep going back to her, but I hope they keep showing it because their dynamic is really cool. Um, It was really good and really funny, and I want more. 
I want more. Bucky is 106 years old as well. <laughs> um, the Nightmare was, the Nightmare sequence is good as well, getting the little Winter Soldier music as well. Um, it's going to be cool seeing that stuff. I assume we're going to see more of that as well. Um, like little snippets from when he was the Winter Soldier, because there's a lot there that we didn't see. His list as well is, uh, is going to be interesting as well. Seeing him go through the names. I saw Zemo on the list. That was the only name I recognized. I didn't get a proper good look. I kind of quickly scanned it when it was on screen, but I'll have a look when I'm editing back the video. But Zemo was the only name I, I, I noticed on it straight off the bat. So, but yeah, I'm so happy <laughs> to have Bucky in a show. Also, Yori, 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 was that the, the guy, the um the old guy that he was being nice to and all that. What a wingman. <laughs> he is the ultimate wingman. He he's so forward and he was just he was just like boom, date, yeah, absolutely. Tonight, 10, cool, done. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Um Yeah, the stuff with him was sad. I didn't even I didn't piece it. I pieced it a little bit before they revealed it, but I didn't piece it at the time when he was talking about his son and all that, and I'm like It's Bucky. Bucky Bucky did it. This is this is him doing the list, making amends. Yeah. Bucky's story is going to be sad, I, I feel, going forward. I think it's going to get more sad the more he delves into this stuff. Um, because he has such a history with... with he has such a bad history with... with um, with Hydra and the brainwashing and all this. And Yeah. It's going to be good, though. It's going to be good to watch. Yeah, no Zemo, as I said. All we got was the little name. We got the, the Flag Smashers. Is that what they were called? That was the the hand thing. All of that stuff is cool as well. I'm interested. Like, I wonder... My biggest question coming out of this... Because I assumed we would get Zemo in the first episode. I don't know why. You know, I thought... Because first episode is usually setting stuff up. And this thing definitely... This episode definitely did that. But I feel like it was more mellow in its in its pace and and it's setting stuff up which i enjoyed it wasn't just hey here is everything that's going to happen in this season and then we'll go forward you know but um i'm excited i i'm interested to see where zemo is going to fit in to this story like is he going to have some connection to the flag smashers or is it going to be something completely separate you know there seems to be a, a good bit of stuff going on at the moment that seems kind of unrelated so um, I'm interested to see how it's all going to come together and how Zemo is going to fit in with it. I'm glad we didn't get him this episode because this episode was was it was nicely paced. You know, we got to see, we got to meet some of Sam's fam family, um, learn a little bit about them, about the boat and the family business, and the scene at the bank was great as well. You know, and I love that the guy the guy working there <laughs> that was interviewing them was like, what does what do, what do superheroes do? To make money basically you know what, what do you do because it's that's a question that you would have you know it's like you saved the world great you can't get a loan though <laughs> like how have you been living <laughs> uh, yeah and they were just gone like and i like that the bank brought up the your man brought up he was like uh, oh yeah we changed the policy because everybody just came back now and everybody is coming into the bank so we had to change our policies it's cool to see it's another good uh it's another good thing to come out of the fact that they're doing shows straight off the end of Endgame is that you can they can slowly show you how the how the world is changing and adapting to what happens, you know? Because it's a big thing. We saw a little bit of the the snap last uh, show with WandaVision the, the, in the hospital with Monica. Um, and seeing that was crazy and seeing the effects is crazy and now we're kind of seeing the aftermath of it and seeing the changes that are going to be happening throughout the world and seeing how people are adjusting and that's that's cool because it was a big massive moment you know like Sam talking about his nephews being uh, older because they didn't get snapped away and he comes back and they're just five years older it's fucking crazy like um, it would be a big adjustment so I'm looking forward to just seeing this post end game world as well you know I wonder if will we get a new suit for Buck, uh, for uh, Sam, by the end of this, because I assume he's going to become Cap by the end of it. You know, he's going to, he's going to accept the legacy. He's going to, um, he's going to accept the legacy, and he's going to accept the role of the new Cap. And I assume he's going to get a new suit. And I, f I hope, I be, I, be, I need a new suit. I want a Cap 
falcon suit <laughs> that'd be badass so that's pretty much it that's all i got um i enjoyed it it was really good it was different than i expected but i thought the pacing was good it set stuff off set stuff stuff up well um and we still didn't even see zemo and and and, and other things so yeah so guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys thought uh, in the comments below if you want me to read out your comment uh, in the recap of next episode or if you have any questions or talking points or opinions or anything like that tweet at us or leave a comment down below in the youtube comments and hashtag it falcon qa um, all is welcome um yeah we will be back next week with another reaction to F the falcon and the winter soldier i'm also doing the boys at the moment as well so check out that in the channel if you have any interest it's not going to be agatha this time Although it might, <laughs> it might, maybe Agatha is the new cap and she's just changed her appearance. It could be Agatha all along as well. Could happen. Anyway, guys, that is all from me. Thank you so much again and we'll see you next time. Later. Pull me from the ashes so I could soothe your frightened mind and let our souls collide. Rising tide so we can ride away upon a tumbling wave.